Hello, hi my lovelies, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, so today's live stream, I actually hadn't planned this at all, but um, my mom just read me this article by one of uh, like the, what would it be the CEOs of one of the banks here in New Zealand? And he was talking about how New Zealand just need to tighten up their belts and start um, planning for the recession and like it's gonna, businesses are gonna take a big hit and property owners are gonna take a big hit. And so I was like, this is a really good topic to talk about right now because I know that the impending doom of a recession is kind of like hitting everyone across the planet. Um, and I see it. I see people talking about it. I see people, you know, panicking, freaking out about it. And so I think it's a good topic to talk about right now. Now, in saying that, I am still learning to understand and work through my own fears about this as well. But... I am looking at this with brand new eyes and it is definitely because of the mindset work that I continue to do every single day because I'm committed to it. So in saying that, can there be abundance in a recession? Yes, there can. <laughs> Absolutely. There, there is always abundance. There always can be abundance, even when it's not necessarily uh, when you're not even looking at financial abundance, there is always abundance, always abundance around. You put a tomato seed in the ground, it grows like a giant tomato plant, right? There's abundance everywhere. Um, and also, during the big uh, recessions, you know, like the Great Depression and everything, um, some of the wealthiest people came out of those recessions, like wealthy, 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 because they saw opportunity where 99.9% .9 of America saw fear, right? And so that's what I really want to touch on today because what the talks about a recession does is bring out fear, right? And where there is fear, there cannot be love. Where there is fear, there cannot be receptivity, right? Because when you are stuck in your fear, you don't see anything else but fear. You panic, you freak out, you worry. You restrict, you hold on, you clutch, you, you get really grippy with it, right? And so if we're talking about money and you're thinking about the recession and you're freaking out about the recession now already and you're getting grippy and you're starting to think, okay, well now I need to be, I need to be really logical about my purchases. I need to like hold on to as much as I can. I need to not be so frivolous with my spending. I need to cut back expenses. I need to like really be on the bones of my butt and you just already are in that energy you are already living in a recession then you are already in the energy of there is a recession right now okay you have created that energy and so what creating that energy does is emit it out into the universe right so if everyone is buying into the fear everyone is feeling fear and there cannot be love where there is fear everyone starts living in the energy of there's already a recession now even though it hasn't technically begun, right? Right? So, how do we combat that? How do we shift into abundance? How do we look at the, the oncoming of a recession with abundance? It's all about your mindset, right? Now, I'm not saying, like, just keep spinning like normal and doing what you're doing. Like, obviously, you're going to put in measures, like, you would anyway, regardless of whether there was a recession, like having an emergency fund, having money in the bank, having savings, and really working on getting behind that energetically, right? But what we do, instead of freaking out about the recession, is move further into love, right? And so what I mean by that is what I've been saying this whole live stream event is really Stepping in and knowing and believing and trusting that the universe has your back trusting that there is a higher power out there looking out for you I've if you see my Instagram stories. I've just gotten the universe has your back by Gabby Bernstein and This is I'm actually considering writing a friggin book about this whole concept myself is that This is an abundant universe But the universe reacts to how you are vibrating, right? It's a, reacting to your energy. It can only bring you what you're a match to so if you're already in the freaking feelings of it's a recession, I need to restrict, I need to contract, it's going to bring you more situations like that. 
So, like I was saying, this is an opportunity for you to really step into your practice, to really step into believing, to really feel the feelings of there's a recession, but I still get to have. There's a recession, but money still flows in. There's a recession, but the abundance is all around me flowing and nothing f is freaking changing. You know, I'm pretty sure we went through our recession like a couple of years ago. Didn't affect me. I don't even remember it, right? And everyone's talking about, oh, it was so bad. It didn't bother me. I think I was like 21 at the time, working, living by myself. It didn't bother me. And so that's the attitude you need to have. You need to be like, it's not gonna bother me because I am deeply supported financially by the universe. I get to have, I get to have, and I get to be supported no matter what, right? That's the vibe, that's the energy, that's the belief that we need to step into every day starting now. Every day starting three months ago, every day starting a year ago, that's the energy we need to be living in so that when the recession does hit, not saying it's not going to, we are already in a vibe of abundance and we already have so much evidence and so much proof that this is what is our reality, that abundance is our reality, that wealth is our reality, that cash constantly coming in is our reality, that it hits and we're like, doesn't affect me. And then we become those people in the stories that the people talked about in the Great Depression, we become those people who became the wealthiest out of a recession because we chose to live in love and live in abundance and live in receptivity instead of fear. We become those people who become wealthier out of an, a recession. So that's, that's my epic thoughts on that today. <laughs> um, and I definitely will have more thoughts on this later as I uh, learn and understand more, but I know that there are people freaking out about that right now. And that's what I want to get you to think about is being in abundance anyway. Seeing the fear, feeling the fear from everyone around you, but still choosing to live in abundance anyway, right? Because we're such rebels like that. We're so rebellious. Okay, so that's all for me today. If there is someone you think would benefit from hearing this message, this short little quick message today, please share this with them. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on that, or you want to talk more about the topic of living in abundance while in a recession, comment below. Okay? All right. Bye! <laughs>